back now with a common skincare issue many people face blotchy, uneven skin tone. Mm. Board certified dermatologist Dr. Rita Linkner is here to break everything down that we need to know. Welcome back. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks for yes. having me. So happy yes. to have you here. This is a common thing a lot of people deal with. What causes skin discoloration? Great question. So hyperpigmentation, it all occurs from a cell in your skin called the melanocyte. I'm of Indian descent, skin of color. We hold onto color so tightly like a sponge. Mm -hmm. So you'll see a lot more commonly in people who are on my end of the skin tone spectrum. But I address it every single day in the office. So it's a super common complaint that I hear. I complain about this all the time. So I'm <laughs> curious, what can people do to prevent this from happening? It's a great question. So sunscreen, sunscreen, sunscreen is really, really important. Um, Use an SPF 30, broad spectrum, all those good things. Make sure you're avoiding the sun during 10 a.m., 4 p.m. And I get asked about LED masks all the time, mm. pretty much every single day. I personally, if you struggle with hyperpigmentation, avoid them. Oh, oh, stay away. Yes. Okay. yes, they can incite rosacea, blood vessels, pigment. They can make things a lot worse. So mm. what are some of the ingredients that you should look for when it comes to over-the-counter medications? Great, yes. So over-the-counter, there's so many things when you walk down that aisle. It can be very, very overwhelming. Um, but we have our GMA staffer here, Joanna, who's using this amazing at-home mask. Some uh, of the ingredients that you, and go ahead, I'm going to let you start peeling this mask it, on. Uh, we put wow. it on about oh, it 10 oh, minutes Patrick ago. Right on. Style. Just 10 minutes. 10 That's minutes it. ago, this is my Friday night mask. It has glycolic acid in it, which is a great way to brighten oh, out wow. pigment. As long yeah, as well as retinol. Okay. You're really <laughs> Keep going. Scary. Great. Keep going. You're All doing an amazing might, job. Might so retinol is another great ingredient to look for. Niacinamide also is an anti-inflammatory that helps with pigment too. And so how often should you do it? This is my Friday night date night mask. I do it before I go out on Friday nights before. once a week. Yes. Not, Donna, not was during. It, was no. it comfortable? No. <laughs> yes, it was. Okay, so you don't feel any like burning or nothing like that. No, it, it was good. refreshing, I would say. Uh, okay. Great. Okay. Okay. You get a little bit. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> All right. Okay. When should someone go see a dermatologist to take care of things like this? If you feel like you've done everything in your at home and it's just not optimized, then come in to see a board certified dermatologist. I always like to look at the color of the hyperpigmentation and decide is this more chronic? Should we chemical peel this, go really deep into mm -hmm. the dermis? Or is this new, fresh type of melasma or blemishing from acne? And in that case, lasers are great, specifically non-ablative fractionated lasers. Okay. And are you okay with lightning creams? I don't love light. I'm Indian. I've seen paradoxical hyperpigmentation with lightning cream. That sounds bad. Yes. So it okay. can do the opposite and make you even darker. So I'm not a big fan of those. All Great right. question, okay. though. All right. Well, Dr. Rita Linkner, thank you for answering thank all you. of our questions. Yeah, and thank, thank you to you. Joanna as well for the yes. mask show off. You are glowing. <laughs> you look beautiful. And